I'm just doing a quick little update on my 10 gallon nano reef tank. Um, it's been up for maybe a month or so. Um, I haven't done an update in about a week. Um, and I figured I would do a quick little update since I just cleaned the tank, um, scraped the glass, and uh, fed my fish. So right now the power head or the circulation pump is off and uh, they're just enjoying a little snack. But as you can see, um, I have a little yellow clown goby. I'm not sure if he was actually in there last time I did an update. And then about a week after, I got a beautiful little firefish who is awesome. Um, he stayed hidden for a few days and uh, then came out and he's been out and about pretty regularly now. Um, you'll also see uh, quite a few little frags in the back here. Um, like I said, I just cleaned my tank so some of them are closed. But um, I'll just name them off. Um, here, one that I glued on the rock is uh, Dragon Eyes, or Green Dragon Eyes, or Radioactive Dragon Eyes, whatever you want to call them. Um, I did two additional frags from that cluster I had gotten. Up here is a um, True Cornbread God of War. Um, Next, uh, I think this one is a pink leopard. Up here we have people eaters. And this one is called cotton candy. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's those. I'm um, letting them grow out a little bit more, and then I will frag them and put them on rock. On this main rock, which is kind of going to be my zoa garden. Um, it might expand from there to some other rocks, but I'm not entirely sure yet, so we'll see. Uh, and here you see my hermit crab. I've named him CM. That's his initials. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to reveal what that actually means, but um, that's his initials. I'm not sure about this guy's name. But uh, my firefish, I think I'm going to call him or her Rosie. That's it. And in here you can see um, I did get a snail. Well, I actually have four snails in here. Um, this is a cowrie, I guess. I have two of those. And I think I have two Nasarius snails. But I'm not entirely sure if they're Nasarius or... Um, <clears throat> what they're actually called. Um, so anyways, yeah. Uh, I did have a little frag rack. Um, this one here, actually. And, you know, that's just egg crate, super glued together. I did have that on the sand bed there with the frags in it. But uh, I kind of wanted to let the hermits and the snails into that sandy area. So I just made a quick little... Um, <clears throat> hang on the back kind of little rack holder um, and yeah those frags are at a weird angle I know but uh, it works it holds them up there they don't fall off yet so um, this guy is a uh, rainbow torch I'm quite sure I had it in there before um, but he's kind of He's not completely closed up, but he's smaller than he usually is, just because I was cleaning the tank and yada yada, so... Um, <clears throat> and yeah, that's kind of it. Um, been doing my water changes and stuff. I am getting a little bit of brownish, filmy algae, I guess. Um, oh, and these are the corals I had in there before. And I found out the name of them, or I found ones that looked similar. And people are calling them Pucker Pink. So that's what I'm going to say they are. Love that guy. He's so cool. 
And this little guy, when the um, pump is off, he kind of patrols the whole tank. So I think he's pretty comfortable in there. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's it. That's my tank. Um, doing pretty good, I think. Um, I spent quite a bit of money on those corals and all my other stuff in here, so I think uh, for now, for the next month or so, it'll just be growing out the corals and uh, yeah, seeing how things progress. Now the other night I did see a little worm coming out of one of those holes. Um, I posted a picture of it on Facebook and somebody said it was a peanut worm, but uh, who knows what it is. Well, we'll see. Oh, if you notice up here, where my little my little grid is, my grating, whatever you want to call it, my overflow, um, I made a little um, cage, I guess. Uh, the water level, the water wasn't passing through the little mesh I had in back there quick enough. And uh, this is more like a cage in front of the overflow slots and so the water can pass through much easier and uh, keeps the water level where I want it to be so so anyways yeah that's my uh, that's my quick very long update um, haven't done one in a little while I've been meaning to but uh, just haven't gotten around to it so and uh, yeah reflections reflections anyways um, so Hope everybody has a great weekend, and uh, like, subscribe, comment, etc, etc, and uh, if you see something that you have a question on, or want more information about anything about my tank, I guess, um, just let me know, and I will, uh, if, I, if I know the answer, I'll tell you. <laughs> okay, everybody have a good weekend. See you guys later.